Hey there, this is Mrs. Ross, and in this video, we are using Adobe Spark to create a sticker design with a holographic effect. Uh, so what you're looking at here is a final example product that I will be using for the purpose of this tutorial. So we're gonna create a sticker that has five layers to it. So to begin, we, uh, we want a, our canvas set up with an Instagram style post is what I've created here. And we're gonna start with our base layer, which is going to be a solid circle. So head on over to the icons and use the search term circle. And you wanna select a solid fill circle. So this first one's a good option. And we want this circle to take up the majority of our canvas here. So we think it's gonna be like the, the whole, this is gonna represent the entire sticker. It's gonna be a circle sticker that we're creating. Uh, so that looks pretty good. I'm just going to center this. So to get it centered, I want that plus sign. There we go. And I went with a color scheme um, of blue and red. I actually didn't decide that in the beginning. Um, it didn't kind of come to fruition until the end of my design there. So. You might not know your color selections yet, um, but I'm since I've already created this, I already have that idea. So I'm gonna choose this blue. And uh, so don't worry about making any final decisions on color choices yet. Uh, the next step is we want to create um, a frame. So we're gonna go to the frame is this red outline that I have here. What this is going to do is it's going to serve as a frame for our background pattern that we create, that holographic background pattern. So it's gonna hide some of the rough edges, so it's kind of a little trick there. Uh, so you wanna find something that is going to have a pretty thick line that's gonna hide those edges. So I'm just going with this first outline circle here because it uh, does not have a fill and it's got a thick enough uh, weight to it, it's going to hide those edges. We're gonna resize it so that it takes up more of the space. I want this a little larger. And then we wanna make sure it's centered. We see the plus sign. Yeah, that looks, that's enough um, of that blue showing through on the edges. And then I want to go with a, a red color for this. Okay, so we have our circle icons. We're done with that. Now we're gonna venture into the design assets to create a pattern background. And it's going to consist, for this example, it's gonna consist of two layers. So I'm gonna head over to design assets um, and think about what you want your background pattern to look like. Um, for me, I didn't want it to be too, um, kind of too busy or um, it's not really the, the main event. I wanted the, uh, the cat <laughs> is the main element here. So for, for me, I looked, through the different search terms and I found the pattern you see in that example is I found it with the search term lines and you'll see there's lots to look through. Um, it's under overlays. So if I select see all and it's right here. Um, so that's a, a section to look through if you kind of want uh, some patterns. You could also just search pattern um, and things would come up with that term as well. So once you have your item, your element selected, what you're gonna do is you want to scale this so that it takes up well, most of the space here. And right now the problem is, is it's a square and we are creating a circle design. So the trick for this is we're gonna go over to this crop and shape and we can turn this into a circle. So you can do this with design assets, with backgrounds, uh, with photos. So we select cir uh, the circle shape um, and it's you can tell the circle portion is a little bit darker and you see these edges here are grayed out. Um, and then when you click away, you'll see that it turned into a circle. Ooh, and that's a pretty, ooh, that's almost spot on. I wanna make this a little bit smaller because I wanna be able to access that red border more easily. Okay, and then I have that centered. So it's okay if it is, we want it to be uh, showing over the red. We just don't want this to go into the outer blue edges because the point is we're gonna uh, layer this so that that red border is gonna be at the top. 
Okay, so then next we want to create that holographic look. To do that, we're going to go, we're going to stay, I'm, for me, I'm in design assets. So I'm going to uh, select that, the main section here. I'm going to search holographic. And I, you can go to see all to see more designs. I actually um, went with this one because it's already a circle and I liked the look of it. So take your time looking through the different um, elements. Now that you know that crop and shape trick to turn something into a circle, you can uh, search for other options too. So same deal here is we want this to go just over the red frame, but not into the outer blue. One more. Yeah. And then um, right now, we can't see our background design, so we just lower the opacity. I think I was in the 45 range. I like that. And now we're left with all these edges. To, so to clean that up, we want to select the frame. Um, you'll know the frame is selected because that color icon will show up. So if we go over to the layer order. We're going to move this to the top. And now those two um, design assets are hidden. Okay, so that's four out of the five layers. Our final layer is our kind of our main design element here. What we want our sticker to have on it, essentially, like do you want it to be a cat, a dog, or uh, some other kind of um, animal or object? Uh, so for me, I like searching in design elements because they are they already have uh, some shading and they already have that transparency. So uh, just kind of have fun looking at different search terms. So I found mine with a search term cat. So there's over 200 cat options. And I ended up going with this lucky cat design. And then I'm just going to resize this so that it takes up more space. Maybe a little bit bigger. Okay, yeah. So yeah, have fun with that, looking through the, uh, the design assets and um, kind of find, to find your main element there. Uh, so that does it for this tutorial video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have fun designing and have a wonderful rest of your day.